Are you trying to connect to a device, to an Azure device using the remote desktop connection and you received the following error message? For example, let's say you work for a company and then you the device that was actually installed was an Azure operating system. It was installed from Azure. For example, um, if I go to my Azure, here you can see we have different operating system. For example, we have this operating system which gives that error message. So you can see it's running, it's on, it's running. But I still receive this error message. So you know to actually connect to the full desktop using remote desktop connection, you need to actually go to connect, and then here we click connect, and then we cannot download the RDP that the remote desktop connection protocol to actually connect to that device in Azure. It's going to be a full Windows operating system, just like I did. For example, we have here you can see I have the domain controller, which is a full operating system. So, why did you receive this error message? So, if I click OK, and then I try to connect again, for example, let me just try to connect. Here is the device, and I'm trying to connect. Let me enter my credentials. So, this is my domain name. And then enter your password. Here we go, then I'll receive this error message. So one of the major reasons is the following, which I observed. If I go back again to my domain controller, because this device is a domain controller, and I try to search for the C003, let me just go to computers, C003. You can see I'm not seeing the device. Probably there must be an issue with that device. So first of all, what you want to do is the following. You want to go to your Active Directory Administrative Center, and then check your deleted objects as an IT professional. This has to be definitely you'll be an IT professional to be able to do this. So you will need to actually just go to a deleted object and then search for the device. Here you can see we have the device which has been deleted. Then you can now restore that device. So when you restore the device, you want to also go and make sure that the device is found. And then you don't have any error message any that the account is not disabled. So if the account is disabled, you may have issue trying to log on to that device. So now let's try to log on again to that device and see what happens. So if I just double click on the C003 and here we go and I click connect and then I change use uh, my domain credentials and then enter my password. Then it's okay. So now you can see I'm receiving this message, which means I'm able to connect to that operating system without any issue. So this is how you solve an issue if you remove, if you receive an error message that you should, that you're not able to connect to your device. Probably the device has been deleted from your Active Directory users and computers, your domain controller. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson and please don't forget to like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can always share this video if you think this video can help someone else resolve this issue. So I have other videos I've created in the past, IT related videos. So if you're working in the IT field or you're just a standard user, you can always go and check some of my previous videos. Probably they may be of great help to you. Bye.